The elk, the largest mammal in North America and Europe, attracts attention with its impressive size. Their height can reach up to 7.5 feet and weigh up to 1,800 pounds, making them one of the strongest creatures on land. Most are about the size of a small truck. Not only are they taller than a car, but they're also many times heavier. Elks have been present in the United States since about 10,000 years ago, when the last glaciers melted. Initially, the inhabited forests and grasslands in Alaska and Canada. But in recent times, the elk population has suddenly increased, and they have migrated to more southern areas of the United States. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the moose population in the United States has doubled over the past 50 years, from about 500,000 in 1970 to more than 1 million in 2022. This increase is largely attributed to improvements in their habitats, including the expansion of forests and grasslands. This is a testament to the vitality and excellent adaptation of this animal in today's natural environment. According to information from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, each year there are about 1,500 traffic accidents caused by moose in the United States. This is a notable problem, especially in rural and suburban areas where the elks are common. Statistics shows that economic losses from these accidents reached an estimated number of $1.3 billion per year. And out of this number, Repair costs reached about $1 billion, and medical costs for people injured in accidents were $300 million. The most serious accident was recorded on December 23, 2017, in the state of Oregon. In this accident, a truck collided with a moose causing the truck to overturn and catch fire. This accident killed four people and seriously injured two people. In addition to loss of life and property, elks also have a major impact on farmers and growers. They often eat important crops and fruits such as grass, corn, beans, apples, pears, and grapes. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, losses to the agricultural industry are estimated at about $500 million, and that is only per year. Elks not only threaten traffic and economic safety, but also poses risks to visitors in the forested areas where they live. Each year, there are about 200 elks attacks on forest visitors in the United States, especially in areas such as Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and Montana. Things you should pay attention to to be safe when encountering an elk. 
When driving in areas with many elks, slow down and always pay attention to your surroundings. When walking in the woods, make noise to alert elks to your presence. Limit contact with moose, especially when they are protecting their youngs. If you encounter a moose, stay calm and try to avoid contact. If they become aggressive, stay still and slowly leave the area. Complying with these safety measures can help reduce the risk of accidents and attacks from elks, protecting both drivers, people living in rural areas, and forest visitors. Elk hunting, a popular population management practice, is widely used in many countries around the world, including the United States, Canada, in Europe, this is not only helps controlling the elk population, but also ensures balance and the ecosystem. In each country and state, elk hunting licensing requirements may vary. The most important thing is the minimum age, which is usually 18 years or older. At the same time, players must also complete a hunting safety training course, including how to safely use guns, handle animals after hunting, and how to protect the environment. The licensing process also involves paying a fee, which ranges from a few dozens to a few hundred dollars. However, these costs are often considered a friction of the benefits of controlling elk populations. When starting hunting activities, participants need to pay attention to some important things to ensure safety. Choosing a safe hunting location is important, and it is also important to use hunting equipment properly. Hunting time also plays an important role, because elks are often active in early morning and late afternoon. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, approximately 200,000 elks are hunted in the United States each year. This has contributed significantly to the control and reduction of elk's populations in the country. Up to now, most populations in the United States have decreased by about 20% over the past 50 years, according to information from the Fish and Wildlife Service. However, to achieve the best results, players need to pay attention to conducting hunting activities responsibly and safely. In addition to the basic requirements, wearing appropriate clothing and footwear, carrying necessary gear, and communicating hunting plans are all important to not only protect yourself, but also the surrounding environment. The damages caused by wild boars to American farmers are significant. Are you curious about their characteristics? 
Wild boars are invasive species in the United States. In the early 16th century, they were introduced by European settlers for hunting purposes. Today, wild boars have spread widely and became a major issue for farmers and the environment. Among the states in the U.S., Texas has the largest population of wild boars, with millions living in the wild and being raised. They reproduce rapidly, with each litter having up to 10 to 12 piglets. Breeding season typically occurs in spring and summer. Wild boars have thick fur and large bodies, enabling them to withstand cold weather in winter. They also have sharp tusks for hunting and foraging. Their aggressive nature may lead them to attack humans when feeling threatened. Their favorite foods include roots, grass, and fruits. They often travel in herds to search for food and move through forested areas or grasslands. The weight of each wild boar can range from 100 to 300 pounds, depending on age and gender. The invasion of wild pigs has caused serious damage to the American residents, both in rural and urban areas, according to estimates by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The damage caused by wild pigs to the American agriculture sector could amount to $1.6 billion annually. In 2019, a group of approximately 400 wild pigs was estimated to have damaged over 100 acres of cornfields in Texas, resulting in approximately $200,000 in losses for farmers. Besides cornfields, other fields have also been severely affected. Wild pigs have also begun to encroach upon urban areas in search of food and water. Their invasion has damaged infrastructure, causing power outages, water pipeline damage, and disruption to the community. Those directly impacted feel anxious and insecure when wild pigs attack cities, facing dangers and property damage. Assembling the Boar Buster Trap To catch invasive wild boars is relatively simple and effective. This trap often captures large numbers of wild boars, aiding in more efficient population control. Farmers typically place the trap in areas frequented by wild boars, such as pathways or near water sources. And that trap can literally be set up alone. Each year, the wild boar population decreases significantly. So to set up the boar buster trap, first place it on flat and stable ground, then use a shovel to dig a hole around the trap, ensuring it's about 12 inches deep and 6 inches wider than the trap. Next, secure the trap by tying up ropes or chains to one of the fixed stakes and tying the other end of the rope to a sturdy post about 3 to 6 inches away from the trap. Ensure the rope is taut to keep the trap secure. Then place the bait inside the trap and position it to attract wild boars. Strong smelling baits are considered recommended. Finally, regularly check and maintain the trap to ensure its effectiveness, replenishing bait when necessary and repairing or replacing any damaged parts. After the trap has been set for a certain period, farmers will collect and handle the captured wild boars, often taking them to veterinary processing facilities or local processing plants.
in the state of Texas in the United States. Hunting with guns is a popular activity enjoyed by many hunters. It usually takes place during the day when there is enough light to observe the prey. The shooting range is typically ranging from several tens of inches. They can shoot accurately and effectively. Each hunting trip often yields a significant number of wild boars. During the hunting process, many people will also incorporate hunting dogs into their activities. These dogs are specifically trained to attract and hunt wild boars, capable of detecting and guiding hunters to the prey. Hunting dogs often have better sensory and olfactory abilities than ordinary dogs, helping them detect herds of wild boars from a distance. The use of hunting dogs helps people save time in catching wild boars. The cooperation between humans and hunting dogs has proven to be highly effective in hunting. After concluding the hunting expedition, the gathering and processing of wild boars is a significant issue faced by Texans and other regions. Some farmers have processed wild boars into food for their families. However, the use of wild hogs as food sparks controversy over health safety. They may carry infectious diseases such as hepatitis E, posing risks to human health when consumed. Additionally, hunting wild dogs faces opposition from some. as they condemn this action as inhumane and harmful to wildlife. While hunting may be seen as a means of population control, many also worry about the sustainable existence of this species in the natural environment. So what do you think about the problem of feral pigs causing damage to the people of Texas? Comment number one if you do not like this herd of wild boars. And comment number zero if you are worried about the people of Texas managing feral hogs. Thank you so much for watching this whole entire video. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications bell so you're always stay in tuned with any of our latest videos. The first thing to do is learn about the characteristics of wild boars and why they are a dangerous problem for agriculture. Wild boars are large animals with an average weight of about 100 to 250 pounds. Their fur is often thick and darkly in color, helping them dissipate heat in tropical and jungle environments. In addition, their fur also helps them avoid scratches when entering dense forests. An adult wild boar can consume up to 5 to 10 percent of their body weight per day. With such an amount of food consumption, what kind of animal are they known as? Wild boars are omnivores, preferring to live in diverse environments, from forests to grasslands and residential areas as well. They can reproduce rapidly and have no natural enemies, leading to uncontrolled population growth. One of the most harmful habits in their ability is to destroy farmlands. Wild boars digging creates large holes in the soil, damaging the soil base and causing loss of soil productivity. This has caused significant economic loss for American farmers. The rapid spread also reduces soil and water quality, causing the ecological balance to be unbalanced and adversely affecting the biodiversity.
as you can see. They literally didn't stop there. They continued with invading my family's cornfields. They attacked the fields by gnawing on corn branches and leaves, mercilessly destroying my efforts to care for them. Each time they enter the field, they often move in groups of 8 to 10 animals. This makes controlling them even more difficult. The consequence was a significant economic loss. The revenue from my cornfield was significantly reduced, affecting my family's economy. To control the number of invasive wild boars and reduce damage to agriculture, people in Texas have taken measures, but the highly appreciated method of using helicopters is one of the leading solutions. In this way, they often use specialized helicopters equipped with hunting tools and support equipment to access difficult terrain areas. Specialized helicopters are usually capable of flying about 150 to 200 miles per hour, helping them move quickly through the jungle or the grassland areas to search and destroy wild boars. The helicopter's fast flight speed enhances hunting capabilities compared to other means. Helicopter rotors can operate effectively in wooded areas, helping to create strong winds and reducing tree cover, making it easier to see and kill wild boars. Do you have any idea about how hunters can easily take down large numbers of wild boars in such terrains? So as you can see, this was it. Hunting wild boars in open lands without trees helps them observe and approach wild boars more easily. When hunting on the sand, you can see millions of wild boars' footprints, a testament to their activity in the area with great frequency. Each time they go hunting, professional hunters usually kill 15 to 20 animals. This big victory gives them a feeling of happiness as they have succeeded in controlling and minimizing the damage caused by wildlife to the local environment and agriculture. In addition, the wild boar's running speed also affects the hunter's hunting vision. The running speed can also surprise you. The running speed of wild boars can reach about 30 miles per hour, but they cannot keep up with the speed of helicopters. So every time they hear the sound of a helicopter, the wild boars will try to find a way to hide but cannot avoid detection by hunters sometimes. Plus, big thanks to the support from the overhead satellites. Helicopter pilots can scan the entire area, increasing their chances of catching wild boars and minimizing the risk of accidents during hunting. However, the hunting terrain in large forests becomes more difficult, but professional hunters continue their journey. The jungle is a hiding place for wild boars. In these areas, helicopter wings begin to show their effectiveness, helping to assist hunters in finding the location of wild boars. Defeating wild boars at the head and neck is the fastest way to paint them. However, in wooded areas, the chance of shooting down a wild boar may be reduced due to the cover provided by trees. And this places a high demand on thorough preparation, certainty in the use of hunting equipment, and the ability to adjust hunting strategies to deal with unforeseen situations. The 
huge thanks to this measure. The number of wild boars decreased by about 30% compared to previous years. Helicopter hunting in Texas has caused controversy in the community, with some people supporting it and some not supporting it. An estimated 60% of Texans support the use of helicopters in controlling wild boar populations, while about 40% oppose. Although this method has proven effective in controlling wild boars' populations, it also hurts the environment. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.